Hello, my awesome and amazing Geminis. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Subject matter this week, we are in the waxing moon phase. So guess what? We're headed towards the blue moon. Blue moon. You saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart, without a love of my own. Mm. Yeah, blue moon. Blue moon in the sign of Pisces. We're definitely going to see what this energy is bringing to your zodiac sign. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we have our beautiful astrological card of Gemini, the beautiful twins. And of course, using moonology oracle, blue moon, believe in the impossible. Mm hmm. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And let's see here. We have the power of number eight. Power of number six. And power of number seven. Okay, so adding up the numbers, eight and six is 14. 14 and seven is 21. Gemini, that's the world card. You could be gearing up to close out a cycle. Sure, it would be appropriate because we're going to be closing out a cycle on the full moon in the sign of Pisces. Okay, and we'll be descending into... The waxing moon phase where that's the perfect time to move on from people, places, things, and or situations that are no longer serving your highest purpose. Some of you Geminis are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could be dealing with a Gemini, another Gemini, and or possibly a Cancerian born in the month of June. And yes, a lot of you Geminis were born at the latter part of May. That is true. You may also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Possibly an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Picking up on strong uh, Sagittarius and Capricorn energy that could have been born in the month of December. Strong Aquarius energy through the number 17 because that would be the star card. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Picking up on some strong Aries through the number 16 because that would be the tower card. And again, more Cancerian energy through the number 18 because that would be, traditionally speaking, the moon card. So... Some of you could have been born in 1961, 1962, 1967, and or possibly 1968. You could have been born in 1971, 1972, 1976, or possibly 1978. You could have also been born in 1981, 1982, 1986, and or possibly 1987 for some of you, okay? Going to the power of number 21 for the beautiful star sign, of Gemini. Trusted ancestors of my Gemini viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Gemini need to know at this time frame with the blue moon coming up in the sign of Pisces? What's going on? Oh, are you in a battle right now, Gemini? Are you battling internally or do you got about five people, some dirty bird activity that's been in and around you trying to confuse you? 
Is this text messaging arguments that are going on that doesn't really need to happen? I say walk away, Gemini. Know thyself and know thy power. <laughs> there could be people just trying to create a lot of conflict for you. This could even be going on in the work environment situation. This could be the coworkers that you can't stand. <laughs> or your boss. Yeah, let's see what this is all about. The hoopla. And right now, don't forget, my awesome Geminis, guess what? We went into a Mercury retrograde. Mercury, it's your ruling planet. Because yes, Gemini does rule over communication, but so does Mercury. You guys work, that energy works hand in hand. Okay. So we are in a Mercury retrograde between August 23rd of 2023 until September 14th of 2023. Okay, so expect a little wonkiness, okay? You're not imagining things. Right now, somebody could be playing mind games with you. You could be trying to figure out which way is up, which way is down. Listen, if somebody starts to try to pick a fight with you, Gemini, be the bigger person. You don't have to say nothing. You don't even have to say nothing. This is not worth raising your stress, raising the cortisol levels in your body, Gemini. There could be friends or family members that maybe you went no contact with, and maybe this is the way how they internally make you feel. You could feel the silence for some of you creating maybe like this agitation or maybe it's their silence that's trying to get the betterment of you. But you know what, Gemini? I feel like you don't meet or match the higher frequency where you're at right here. You don't, this is lower vibrational frequency. You don't need this. This is garbage. You know, you don't need to be dealing with that. You could feel it also, too. You haven't had a lot of privacy lately. Yeah, go. Listen, Gemini, go for the gold. Go for your dreams. Get rid of Turn your back on these people or situations, okay? There could also, could have been a promise to, who knows? Maybe you were promised a raise, a promotion. Could have went to somebody else. A lot of you Geminis are so super talented, very talented. It's time to take your talents to the next phase and next level. Level. Let, go get your abundance, Gemini. Go take care of number one. That's you. Yeah, go take care of number one. Show me this beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. If you're dealing with a past person that's really giving you an issue, they're not your true soulmate, but there's this person here might be the one that you're seeking, Gemini. Male or female, doesn't matter. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and also Aries, Leo, Sag coming into the mix. That's not to say a lot of you Geminis are dealing with Scorpios. I'll tell you that right now for a lot of you, okay? No, there's somebody better here for you, Gem. King of Pentacles, somebody who has more of foundation or you are the one that's in the King of Pentacles mode, male or female, and you are focusing in on the end game, the end result, and the reward of life and trying to avoid maybe distractions. Okay. You could be trying to avoid distractions right now. People who make you feel depressed, people who make you feel down and out, etc. You don't need them. They're in low vibrational frequency. Yeah, you need a time out right now. You need to think. You need time to pray, meditate. You need to create that time for yourself. You might need, I'm seeing yoga. Somebody's doing yoga or needs to do yoga or get into yoga or Pilates. Get your stress levels down. I 
it's time to do you. You may have children, you know, you probably might need to, you know, provide for children. You could be dealing with a, a bum baby mother or a bum baby father going on and they're not paying the child support, you know, not taking full responsibility for their actions. A lot of you Geminis were dealing with narcissistic potential suitors or an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, narcissist. Some of you Geminis have gone through abuse Mm -hmm. And for some of you, Geminis, you might be gearing up to propose marriage to someone. I'm seeing proposal or somebody's gearing up to propose marriage to you that you might need time, a time out to think things through before saying yes to anything. Yeah, right now you could be feeling really down in the dumps. Your energy could be going in waves or somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret towards you, Gemini. For how they treated you. Because now maybe you're rising to the top. Leveling up. And now you're making crystal clear cut decisions. On who it is that you want to be with. Or the type of person that you're choosing to become. Because right now Gemini. You could probably say to these people. Kiss my ass. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, being in the driver's seat of your fate and destiny, the wheel getting ready to spin in the right direction for your health, your wealth, your prosperity, abundance. A lot of you Geminis have been uh, not exactly on the greatest diet for some of you, okay? Not watching your nutrition, you could be stress eating. That's not a good thing. Got to get out of that habit and get out of it ASAP for some of you. Okay. You need energy, proper energy to go the distance and get this ace of pentacles in regards to your career and your financial foundation. Whatever brings you motivation. But you've got a faded turn of events here in a positive direction. Twin flame, soulmate, 1111 connection. You know what I feel, Gemini? This is somebody new. This is somebody who's going to rock your world. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Doesn't have to be. I think we attract the zodiac signs we're just more drawn to. Okay? Could also be dealing with a fixed sign. An Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. Or maybe you're drawn to those particular signs that I just mentioned. Let this pass go. Let the stress go. Let these... Toxic, negative, Debbie Downers, let it all go. Focus in on the new, okay? You were in the driver's seat at all times, Gemini. Your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels, whatever you believe in, but you one thing you can guarantee on, if you don't believe in any deity, you can sure as hell trust your trusted ancestors because they're always going to have your back. They see things even further down the road than what we can sometimes, okay? And even though I do numbers, a lot of times my numbers are dealing with a lot of times what is going on in the here and the now and how, you know, and in my mind, I don't look outwards more than like a 30, 60 or 90 day cycle. Because it's easier to set realistic goals and make the changes that need to be made. Take the Zodiac here and break it down into goals, small increments. There's a twin flame. There's marriage. You can get unexpectedly like proposed to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now I'm seeing the wind going through this beautiful tree that's outside. The winds have changed, Gemini, and you're an air sign. And the winds actually are blowing in, it looks like, from the east. 
because the error elements are in the east corner of the elements. So to the direction of the east, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Speak out your intentions. You're an air sign. Speak it out there into the ethers. Put your feeling, put your emotion into what it is that you're saying. Don't just say, yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire. Yes, I'm abundant. I am abundant. No, feel it. Say, yes, I am abundant. My health, my wealth, my prosperity, my abundance, it is all of my birthright. And then use your visualization skills. The wheel is getting ready to turn. Twin flame soulmate. I say soulmate. Twin flame, listen. I have my viewpoints on twin flames. Okay. There are numerous millions of soulmates out there. I don't feel twin flames are accurately described. Let's just put it that way. Because if a twin flame is a divine union, you guys, you wouldn't be having problems. More than likely, if you're having an issue with someone, they're a karmic soulmate. A true twin flame is going to mirror you pretty much to a T. And that person is already going to be spiritually connected to the vine. Not all of these problems. That's a karmic soulmate. No, you want a divine soulmate. You want somebody that is on the same wavelength, same frequency. And start choosing people, you know, when you're out there and if you're single, look for the ones that are spiritually connected. They don't need to be religious because a lot of you Geminis are probably not religious and probably don't even follow the same religious belief systems that you were raised on, okay? Otherwise, why would you be watching tarot, okay? So here's the thing. Start becoming very selective. The word selective is a little different than saying picky. Okay, selective. Don't just be in a relationship because you just want to be in a relationship and it's just because you're seeking validation. Start learning how to validate yourself. Use that willpower of yours to go after and get what you want. Because it's highly attractive. Confidence is highly sexy and it's very attractive. When you are in your power, people want to know what you're up to, how you do it, how, how you walk, how you move, how you speak, how you wear your hair. Everything is all about presentation. And Geminis, Geminis are good about their presentation. I may be your sister, Scorpio, but I am a Gemini moon. I really and truly can't see it any other way. You have to, in a line of work like this, you'd have to be able to speak effectively, you know, so it helps. Helps to have the air elements in your birth chart to be able to convey your truth so many of you Geminis in the past, your truth was suppressed. You felt suppressed. You could have felt suppressed in this five of wands and the eight of swords with whatever karmic soulmate that you were entertaining or they were entertaining you and you thought it was true love. Mm -mm, you got somebody better. Got somebody better coming into the mix. Somebody who can ground you. No, there's a, tw there's, you can, if you want, if you feel comfortable calling it a twin flame, you just have to get the right idea about twin flame. Okay. But it's a lot easier just to say soulmate because we can identify with that. Okay. When you feel like you are connecting on a soul level, because that person is going to fully understand what it takes to keep a relationship going. They're going to put the work in. They're going to put the effort in. Not these fly-by nights, because that's what I'm seeing here. Fly-by night with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords. People leaving you all up in your head, confused. 
Time to get out of confusion. Time to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're better than that, Gemini. But I do feel that somebody has regret because eventually they're going to see you move on with somebody new. Too bad, so sad for them. Go for the gold. Just go for the gold. Be selective. If you have plans or dreams for a home-based business, by almighty, please do so. Stop procrastinating. Stop delaying. You can do this. Because with the four of wands, that represents the home. Four represents the home. Plus, you have a king of pentacles and an ace of pentacles. This would be like a home-based business. Too much thinking, maybe not enough action. But if somebody starts to come in from the past and all of a sudden they want to, you know, get married to you, they come crying, sobbing, I can't live without you, whatever. You take your time, Gemini, go into meditation. Do not need to answer this person right away, nor should you be rushed. Bottom line. My awesome and amazing Geminis, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.